Tennis is my life. Yeah. And race. I was 17 years old. I was already on the tour for about a year, year and a half. In those days, uh, being a teenager uh, uh, wasn't that unusual, playing successful tennis. My breakthrough came on grass in Queens in June of 1985. The rest is history. But this is his first Grand Prix win, and I'm sure there are going to be so many more. I called the 7th of July 1985 my second birthday. Changed my life quite dramatically. It was against Kevin Curran. In my very first match point, I actually hit a double fall because I couldn't uh, keep my concentration. Thankfully, the second one was good. And then everything happened in a blur. We shook hands. The president of Germany was in the Royal Box. The Royal family was there as well, and I received the Wimbledon Trophy. And it's been very different since. Won again in Wimbledon in 1986. It was one of my first two majors, and you know how the critics are. People quickly uh, label you as a grass court player and not the all around player. So for me, winning on hard courts uh, was very important. Winning the US Open was one of my absolute highlights. Being on that center court, it was you know, by far the largest tennis crowd I ever played in front of. Beating Ivan Lendl in the final, who was number one then, was, was special. I was uh, starting to be successful in the, the era of uh, McEnroe. Connors was still around. Lendl. Oh, they were my heroes, they were my idols. I'm number one hero was Torbjorn Borg. Unfortunately, I never played him. We did practice in Monte Carlo a few years later, and he was still very good on clay. I was by far the youngest, and it was a great time. Set, I'm most known for my first Wimbledon title because that sort of put me on the map. For me personally, my second Wimbledon title was the most important one because it confirmed uh, my, my position in, in the world of tennis and, and most importantly for myself that I, after Wimbledon 2, I feel like I belong. ATP World Tour uncovered. We're behind the scenes in Queens for the Fever Tree Championships. And the grass court swing continues in Halle, Germany, with the Gary Weber Open. Don't forget to log on to ATPWorldTour.com and chat with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.